So here I am in Browsercom's capture menu and I'm going to now capture some screenshots of my website. Now I've created a project here called Master New Media Test and I can choose to share this with other users or to make it publicly accessible. Those are both options. I can also enter URLs manually so decide to put in for instance the site I'm going to or I can crawl an entire website for multiple URLs so for instance if I wanted to go to a certain amount of levels within my site and get all of the pages that's fully automated. In this instance I'm not going to do that because there's really no need we're going to just have a look at Master New Media's front page so I'm just going to enter that into the URL manual box and that's going to now take a capture of that site for us. Now there are lots of different settings that make this really very easy. So for instance, um, if your site is private, it hasn't actually gone live yet, you can have it access it via the username and password, so that's no problem at all, you can still access the site. Now if we click on continue, that takes us down to the next stage of the procedures, and this gives us the option to choose lots and lots of different browser types and platforms. Now these can be arranged nicely, so you can decide you're only going to look at the most recent browsers or those within a certain amount of years, um, popularity of the browsers, those that are most commonly used, or the popularity by platform, so these are nice ways of narrowing down the list. You can choose to select all of the different options, including the different flash options, uh, the different platforms, and the different browsers that are going to be used, and that will give you lots of them. You can select only those that have flash, or you can select to deactivate flash so you can see what your site looks like without flash. Obviously those options are also available within the different platforms, you can select all of those different things individually. Now you can also decide what size the browser is going to be. I've set mine to 800 by 600. Uh, you can also decide the capture area, browser only desktop or full page, which is in beta. So in this case, I'm going to select the browser only option. I want to see exactly what it looks like, someone looking at the site with an 800 by 600 browser. It can output files uh, in a number of different formats, including BMP, JPEG, and PNG, so that's nice. You can set it to delay before it takes the picture to allow for some sort of latency. So let's take a look at what happens when we do capture those files and the output we get.